Hello everybody. In my opinion, one of the most interesting new features introduced for the first time in Excel 2007 was the data bar conditional format. It displays horizontal bars directly inside the cells uh, and the length of the bar is proportional uh, to the value uh, that we want to visualize. Uh, let's see a very simplified uh, application of the, the data bars. Uh, here we have some dummy data and we want to visualize graphically this series of numbers. The first thing that we, uh, we, that we do uh, is uh, uh, make an exact copy of uh, what is inside uh, the cells uh, in this way. Then we go to the Home tab, we select uh, Conditional Formatting Inside the, the, the drop-down menu, we find the data bar bars icon and then we have two options. Uh, we can uh, uh, choose one of the default uh, color scheme for the data bars or uh, we can click on the more rules uh, option. I suggest you to go for this second one because it's much more flexible. Uh, inside the, the formatting rule window, we can uh, select these options here that will, uh, uh, will, uh, um, will show uh, only the, the data bars inside the cells without showing the numbers. Then we select the type of data bars uh, that we want. We select some, uh, some cool color. Then we apply the solid border and then we click OK. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Uh, but there is a problem. Uh, if on your computer you have a version of, of Excel older than the 2007, like for, for example the 2003, the data bars features, a feature is not present. Uh, or, or if you want to open a workbook with uh, data bars inside, uh, in Excel 2003, they simply do not show. Here, it is the solution that I propose. Uh, we will simulate data bars with a combination of three things. Uh, the first one is the vertical bar uh, symbol. Uh, that on my keyboard is obtained by pressing Shift plus backslash and uh, which has the ASCII code 124. Uh, then we use the ASCII code of the uh, vertical bar symbol uh, inside the char function, um, which uh, uh, will convert uh, the code uh, in the symbol itself. And then uh, we use the char uh, function as the first argument of the rept function. Uh, that uh, it is a very cool function that takes some text and um, repeats it for a given amount of uh, times. Uh, the second argument of the direct function would be the data that we want to uh, visualize graphically. And then we will apply this particular font here. Let's see how it works. First of all, we type the char function, we insert the, uh, the ASCII code of the char, of the, 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 the symbol, the, the vertical bar symbol, then we type the rept function, we use the char function uh, as the first argument, then we point uh, the rept function inside the data that we want to visualize, then we copy uh, the formula down. At this point, for the trick to work, is uh, is necessary to apply this particular font. Let's see what happens. Rectangle bolt, and here we have it. Uh, with this, this simple trick, we have simulated the the data bars conditional format without the data bars conditional format. And uh, uh, we can change the color of that uh, of our uh, little bars 
uh, we can apply some cool color this one let's choose this one um, one last thing that I want you to notice is uh, uh, if your data is uh, is uh, is made by big numbers the simulated bars will run out of the screen let's see what happens you see to find the hand of this thing is impossible when uh, your uh, numbers are very big it is possible to apply a little trick we can divide uh, the number inside the uh, ref function to scale down uh, our little uh, our little uh, graphing solution. It is possible to use uh, to uh, to to use this concept in uh, even with uh, uh, small numbers. As you can see here we have very little numbers and uh, if you want to, uh, to apply this trick uh, on the numbers uh, alone they, sim they simply do not show nothing so we uh, instead of dividing we simply multiply uh, the sorry we simply multiply to scale up the uh, the numbers that we want to visualize. Uh, I hope that uh, this video will be useful for you. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.